In this tutorial, we will show you how you can import Unreal UE projects into Eximetry and use them. It is important to know that only the version of UE specifically customized for Eximetry will work. We are providing this version of UE. Please use this in all cases. Launch Unreal Editor for Eximetry. You can load your existing UE project, but in this example, we will create a new one. Select the Games Project category. Choose the blank template and press Next. On the Project Settings page, we advise to create a Blueprint-based project with desktop slash console target hardware and no starter content. Quality and ray tracing settings are up to you. Select the location of your project. Name your project if you want. We kept the default My Project. Click on Create Project. Once it's loaded, go to Aximetry slash Add Camera. Here we have many different cameras for your needs. Now we add a virtual camera. The position of the camera doesn't matter as it will be controlled by Aximetry. Move the Player Start Actor to a position where it will not be visible to the camera. This is because this will be rendered as a gray sphere by default and we don't want it to be visible in the scene. You can read more about this problem and possible solutions in the Aximetry DE documentation. Click File, then Save All to save the map. Change the name if you want. We left it as Untitled. Click Edit and find the project settings. In the search bar, type Custom Depth. Change the custom depth stencil pass from enabled to enabled with stencil using the drop down menu. This is required for the Eximetry camera to work properly. In the search bar, type map. Set the editor startup map and the game default map to the map you saved earlier. In this case, it's called untitled. Setting the editor startup map is optional, but setting the game default map is required as the map selected here will be loaded when you open the project in Eximetry. Search for Planner and find Support Global Clip Plane for Planner Reflections and turn it on. Close the Project Settings window. Click File slash Save All to make sure everything is saved. Restart your project to apply the changes. Now click File and click on the Cook Content for Windows. After cooking is completed, exit UE. Open Eximetry Composer. Press Start. Create a new compound. In the File Browser, find the previously created Unreal project. My Project. Click and drag it into the Flow tab. Next, we need a virtual camera in Eximetry. In the File Browser search bar, type Unreal. Choose Virtual Cam underscore Unreal underscore A dash B underscore Preview underscore 3 dash Cam and click and drag it in. Lastly, we need a talent. For this example, we will use one of our test videos. Green underscore nils underscore demonstrate underscore notes. Same as before. Click and drag it in too. Connect the pins in the following way. Switch to the camera's control board. Click on the free camera mode to be able to look around in the virtual scene freely. Click on the billboard's control board. Click on the test button in the input one box. Now we can see our test video. Click on the input button in the monitor one box to be able to see the unprocessed video input. Click on the keyer one box. Pick your green screen reference color. You can do it by clicking on the green rectangle at the background color. Click and drag the sampler tool 
and release it at the desired spot. Click OK. Click on Cropped and turn on Portrait to rotate the video. Click on the keyed button in the Monitor 1 box to be able to see the keyed out video. We have to set the parameter of the keyer. We will explain these values in another tutorial. Press Final to see the result. Billboard 1 now became selected. To edit its position, turn Editing Mode on by clicking on the three arrows icon on the top of your screen. Assign it to Preview 1. Find the arrows and position the billboard so that the AO is just over the ground. Set the lift parameter so that the talent stands on the ground. Adjust the AO. Switch back to the camera's control board. Click on the camera icon at Camera and Render Setup to set a new path. Click on A and set the camera starting position. When done, click on the Copy button. Click on B, then click on Paste and set the final position of the camera. Once you're done, click on the Play button to see how it looks. With this, you've completed the tutorial successfully.